Welcome to Rainbow Mountain! <laughs> Rainbow Mountain today, but unfortunately, one of our team can't make it because he really feel very, very ill. You see, you know, very unfortunate. Oh my God, you know. Video with me. Why? I don't want to be in this part of video. He put everything onto Fate, and Fate said he has he, he shouldn't go to Rainbow Mountain. Oh my God. But anyway, we're gonna continue the journey. And we're gonna take you to Rainbow Mountain, and I hope and we hope we're gonna make it as well. So we're already here now on the pickup point. So cold. It's just like around four or two degrees down here in Cusco Central. Whew. Ready? Ready. We're ready. For one hour half to the breakfast point. The breakfast point is in Paucarpata. In Paucarpata community is inside it. Cusipata village. Yeah? The altitude there is look like Cusco City. 3,400 meters. Your head, use your gloves. Yeah? Use your jacket. Yes. What else? Any question? Okay. Easy, yeah? yeah. <laughs> so we'll be having our breakfast here first. Before ascending your room. Say hi. <laughs> So guys, we're finally here at the first point of our trek. So we're down to like 4,000 meter above sea level down here in Rainbow Mountain. Whew. But the view is spectacular, priceless. <laughs> wow. We are gonna go in that direction over there. Can you see the top of the mountain? Yes. Yeah, there. Yes, that is the viewpoint. We are gonna go to the top. Okay, but if there are people that want to go to the middle, it's possible also. But I recommend go to the top because from the top you will get a good picture. <laughs> I know, the oxygen is so low, <laughs> it's even higher than Slovakia. We climb mountains in Slovakia, it's, this is it's so, so high in Morocco. <laughs> I've climbed a lot of mountains, it's so high. <laughs> yeah, in Tyrol, yeah? Mm -hmm. Are you from Switzerland? Oh, cool. <laughs> ah, you're in Tyrol? <laughs> That's my bucket list, super since two years ago in South Tyrone. <laughs> Running the horse and towards Rainbow Mountain. It's one of the best terrains I've ever seen for a mountain is here in Rainbow Mountain. Here in Peru. Oh, it's just like out of this world. Amazing. You really have to try this one. But tip for you if you can't like really manage to like walk on high altitudes, I'd rather have the horse, you know, ride a horse going on top. And then probably have a few more hikes going to the viewing point. I think we're almost down there on the top. I can almost see the viewing point. It's just amazing. How the terrains are here, it's getting redder and redder. It's like a rainbow. And the local people as well, very authentic Peruvians of the mountains. Wow. 
altitude almost got thousand meter elevation Down now, the mystery in mountain. So cool, so nice, one of a kind, and once in a lifetime experience that you should really try here in Peru. Whew, altitude sickness is really bad because other people are like vomiting, fainting. My goodness, they need oxygen. Very, really be careful. Coca leaves really help. Chewing it. Both are wrong. So we're now heading towards our horse. We're gonna ride the horse back to the bottom. It's really real, you know, altitude sickness is real here. You know, I've witnessed people who vomited, who almost fainted. Me, I also like felt a bit dizzy on top and it's as if my head was gonna blow up but you have to like slow down keep quiet and eat coca leaves chew coca leaves not eat chew that's my tip you know what guys at the first instance of this adventure i thought i can manage to like walk 40 minutes but i was wrong <laughs> her tip she was the one who convinced me to ride a horse but Good thing I was convinced because if not, I'll probably faint that I'm doing. It's so difficult. Oh my god, I need to conserve my energy. So, tip number one pay 20, 20 soles for the horse. 40. 40 soles for the horse. One way. Right, one way. <laughs> What does mean Winnie or Binikunka, guys? It's a true language. <laughs> yeah? According to the history, it's a true language. Winnie or Binikunka, Winnie coming from the gods of Quechua language. I'm sorry, Aymara language. Do you know who speaks Aymara language? Tiawanaku culture. The Tiawanaku culture from Bolivia. Mm -hmm. Actually, in Peru, we had a local people in Puno. They speak 
Ketwa and Aymara language. Yeah? Winnie Obini means black drops or colorful. Kunka means a net. Yeah? Net colorful or black drops. <laughs>